Hi everyone, Peter from Hard Knock Garage here. Um, decided to repaint uh, my Maisto uh, Porsche 911 Speedster. Had this model for probably 20 odd years. I repainted it green probably about 15 years ago. Um, and I've, I've been getting into this idea around outlaw Porsches, sort of Porsche 911s that are a bit rough, maybe not numbers matching, um, that kind of thing. So thought I'd paint this one up. Um, I went with uh, surface primer, um, red brown first of all, uh, over top of the uh, green which I just scuffed up with some sandpaper. Um, once I put this on, gave it another bit of a sand, usually about 800 and 600, um, just to pull some of that back. Started masking it, I'm using uh, mas uh, Tamiya and uh, Valio masking tape and paint. Um, this is where you can see the order that I need to do the masking in. Masking tape here for the seats. Um, it's a good way to add a bit of texture to the seats and you can paint it. Um, so wrap the masking tape over the seats. Um, you can also put rips in it and little bits of cotton floss if you want to make like a ripped sort of leather seat kind of effect. Um, so putting, putting it on, a little bit fiddly to get it on. Um, gave them a blue paint uh, and then I'll put some stripes and stuff decided to do the interior as well and now I'm starting up the uh, the outside um, to put stripes and, and some bits and pieces on so using various uh, widths of masking tape it's probably about 2mm in the middle um, with the 6mm uh, I brush painted the white and I should have spray painted it, uh, air brushed it. Um, I got a little bit impatient with that. So now I'm putting over a little bit more of the red brown primer um, over top, then peel that back and then I've got the white um, and blue stripes. Did blue on the interior as well, not entirely sure I'll keep that um, and some stripes on the seats. A little bit more interior stuff. Um, then I use my Cricut final cutter to uh, cut the circles and the numbers. What I did is put the circles on first, spray painted the white, put another circle with the number in it and then spray painted it blue um, to get that uh, kind of layered effect. Put a little bit of text on there as well. Um, the letters are getting a bit small really to, to get a nice finish out of. Um, they came out okay though. So there you can see I've put the, the 72 circle back in. Um, I was going to use these black pens to do the outside, but it just it didn't quite work. So I ended up colouring the whole thing in, and you'll see later I sand it back and it, and it kind of comes out all right. Um, I was just going to do the edging on it. So put the blue on, quite a bit of tape over these, um, as you can see when I'm peeling it back. Taking more of the tape off. And there you've got the number on it um, and the text. Tidied it up just using a uh, cotton, cotton bud with a little bit of uh, thinner paint thinner on just to tidy up um, some of the bits. There was a little bit of spray. And then give it, this is about a thousand grit uh, sandpaper. Just really lightly go over it um, uh, to weather it a bit. And then pop over a little bit more of the rust ring paint uh, to get the final effect so um, I think this came out okay there's a few little details I need to do on some of the bumpers and things but um, overall I'm pretty happy with it uh, looks like an old kind of old racing car um, even though these were made in, in about 1989 um, you probably wouldn't find this one rusty but who knows in another 20 years you might um, I will be doing some more of these. Um, I've got a 964 Turbo uh, that I've, I've bought recently that I want to do something with um, and a couple of others. So anyway, um, hope you learned a little bit out of there. So the technique around using the masking tape for the seats um, and the Cricut cutter for masking uh, text and things. See you later.